Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 207, course schedule. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we have number of courses. So in this input, we have four courses and we have a prerequisite 2D array, right? This 2D array is nothing but a graph. So in this case, we need to finish course 0 to take course 1, right? Similarly, I need to finish course 1 to take course 2 and I need to finish course 2 to take course 3. So we need to check whether we can finish all the courses. So if this is valid, we need to return true. And if we can't finish all the courses, we need to return false. Also, if we detect a cycle in this graph, we need to return false, right? So here the graph represents the given input. So we need to finish the course 0, then only we can take course 1. We need to finish course 1, then only we can take course 2 and so on, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we are going to create an adjacency list of the graph. So here to take course 0, we don't have any prerequisite and to take course 1 we have a prerequisite to finish course 0 right we can see that here to take course 1 we need to finish course 0 so we have created an adjacency list here then we are going to create a visited list of zeros based on the number of courses so here we have four courses so we have four zeros in this case so here we are going to keep track of whether we have visited all the prerequisite of the particular course or not, right? So initially, I'm going to perform DFS on course 0. So in the DFS function, we are going to check whether is there any cycle in the graph or not, right? The reason why we are checking for cycles is that if there is a loop in the graph, it is obvious that we cannot complete all the courses, right? That is the reason we check for cycle in the graph. So initially, we need to check so whether we have visited the course 0 or not. So in this case, if we have 1 in the visited set for the course 0, which means we have detected a cycle, right? So in this case, we have 0, so we can just proceed further. Then we need to check whether we have finished all the prerequisites of 0 or not. That will be indicated with 2. So here 2 in the visited set represents that we have finished all the prerequisites of 0. So in this case, 2 is also not present in the visited set, right? For the course 0, 2 is not present. Since this is 0, we haven't seen 0 in the past, right? So we are seeing 0 for the first time. So since we are seeing this for the first time, we need to mark this course as 1. That is, we are in the process of visiting all the prerequisites, right? So now we are going to visit all the prerequisites of 0. While we are visiting prerequisites of 0, if we detect 0 itself, we are going to detect a cycle. That is the reason why we are initializing 1 here. So we need to check is there any prerequisites of 0 or not. So here we don't have any prerequisites for 0. So we can just mark this one as finished course right we don't require any prerequisites for this course 0 so here 2 indicates we have finished the course successfully right so now we need to take the course 1 so we need to check whether we have 1 or 2 in the visited set for the course 1 we don't have 1 or 2 so we have to initialize 1 for the course 1 which means we are in the process of visiting the prerequisites of 1 right then we need to take the prerequisites of 1, so in this case, 0. So now we need to perform DFS on 0 itself. So now I need to check whether I have finished course 0 or not in order to take course 1, right? So in this case, that I have finished the course 0 successfully. So I will return back and I will tell here that I have finished course 0 so I can take course 1 and also there is no cycle and I have finished all the prerequisites of 1 so I will mark 1 as 
2. So now we need to take the next course that is course 2. So we need to check whether we have 1 or 2 in the course 2. Since 1 and 2 is not present, we have to initialize 1 in the course 2. That is we are processing on the co course 2, right? So now I need to check the prerequisites of course 2 that is 1. So I will do DFS on 1 and I will check in the visited set whether I have completed 1 or not. So here in the course 1 it is 2. So 2 indicates that we have finished the course. So we will return back to 2 and we say that I have completed course 1. So we can take course 2, right? And we have finished all the prerequisites of 2. So we have to mark that I have finished course 2 as well. That is by 2, right? So now we need to take the next course that is 3. So we need to check whether 1 or 0 is there in my course 3. There is no 1 or 2. So we can visit 3. So we will initialize 1 in my third course. And then we need to check the prerequisites of 3. That is 2. Then I will do DFS on course 2. And I will check whether I have completed course 2 or not. So here we have 2 in the course 2. Which means we have completed. So I can take course 3. So I will return back and we have finished all the prerequisites of course 3 and we need to mark 2 in my course 3, right? Which means we have completed the course. So in this example, we can finish all the course successfully. So we can return true. So whenever we performing and checking the prerequisites, if we deduct 1 in the visited set, which means there is a cycle or we are still haven't finished the course yet, right? So when we deduct that, we can just directly return false as my final answer. We don't have to do anything further, right? That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we need to build the adjacent sale list where we will be having the course and the prerequisites to complete the course right then we will create the visited list based on the number of courses so then we are going to check each and every courses to deduct cycle if we deduct cycle we need to return false else we need to return true right so now we will see the has cycle function so in the has cycle function we need to check whether we have visited the current node or not if it is one which means we have deducted a cycle so we need to return true else we need to check whether we have already completed the course or not if we have already completed the course we have to return false indicating that there is no cycle right then if we are visiting for the first time we need to initialize the current course as one and then we need to check all the prerequisites of the current course after finishing all the prerequisites of the current course we need to initialize current course as 2 and we need to return false if we haven't deducted cycle right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys